One of the uh, big surprises with these photographs is the portraits and the mug shots and just in general the photographs of people, people looking at the camera. The last thing one would expect is that the police photographers would be sensitive, particularly sensitive photographers or particularly attuned to character and nuance uh, or human, human eccentricity, but they are, they were. One of the photos that I put aside just because it was interesting was of two slightly oddly dressed young women. Um, I just know from the background that's North Sydney Police Station, most likely. The, the, the lass on the right, when yeah, she's got a kind of tough, uncompromising face. I sort of know that kind of, yeah, I've seen that face before. That, and, the, and the one on the left's got a nice big smile. Of course, a little while later, once I looked at the newspapers, I realised they were blokes uh, who'd been hauled in in the 1940s, wartime Sydney, charged with being idle and disorderly persons. Um, there was a newspaper article about um, the one on the left, Neville, um, who was quite happy to talk to the newspapers about his female, about being a female impersonator and cross-dressing, which was an offence back then. Um, it seems that they were charged with um, no vis not having a means of support, with being idle and disorderly persons, and that actually opened a little door on a whole kind of aspect of wartime Sydney that maybe we don't often consider, was that quite a lot of people in Sydney got by in the war years scamming American servicemen and including people in sort of gay Sydney did that as well. And what the pattern that sort of starts emerging when you look at a lot of police records is that, you know, there were 100,000 American servicemen in Sydney, certainly plenty of them would have been gay. There was a whole sub criminal subculture of people uh, uh, fraternising with American servicemen Maybe one would go on a date with an officer while, while crony robs his flat. This, would, this happened quite a bit. Um, these two people uh, did have American currency in their possession, so they'd sort of been hanging out with Americans. But again, it's an extraordinary photo. I mean, it's a petty, petty criminal enterprise, seemingly. But um, as with so many of these photos, they don't seem to be too put out by the fact that they've been arrested. In fact, there even seems to be a certain amount of en enjoying of the situation.